Is that a new bra? No. Oh yeah, welcome! It's Sunday, yet I've had a delivery. Ooh, and this is a two Funko Pop delivery from Seven Quid a Pop. Some bad news to start with though. Box has already opened, this is how it came. It's not bad news as such, but it does mean there is no need for the trusty knife. Hence, there is no need for me to have a slice. <laughs> no slice for Jimmy today. So we better just crack on and get it more open than what it already is. can tell it's from 7 quid a pop. As A, it was a Hermes delivery. That's the company they seem to be using at the moment. And B, they're using a lot of this red bubble wrap. So like I say, two pops in here. 7 quid a pop had a sale recently. I think it's still on as of today, but it will end at midnight today probably. Or midnight tomorrow. Whatever. Let's see what we've got. First up, oh yes, we've got Barb. I think Barb's in a pop protector. From Stranger Things, it's an 8-bit pop. It's Barb. Wow, and a pop protector as well. Amazing. A Funko 2018 Spring Convention exclusive. This cost me £7. There was another one that was £5, but was graded at number 7. I thought I'd actually ordered that one because I've ordered graded 7 pops from 7 quid a pop recently and they were perfectly fine. But um, it turns out I ordered this one, which was graded, I think it just said between 8 to 10, which is obviously excellent to mint. But it was like £2 more and there was a 10% code that I was able to use as well. And with the sales and everything, it was a pretty good saving for these two pops. So I can't complain. Love Stranger Things. Wasn't going to collect any of the pops, but when I saw this 8-bit one, I do like the 8-bit pops. Heavy, actually. A lot of people aren't fans of these, but I like the way they look. For certain things, anyway. And... I just thought, well, if I'm going to get some Stranger Things pops, rather than trying to collect loads and just be overwhelmed by what is too big a collection, see also Harry Potter, why don't I just stick to the 8-bit ones? Because I think there's, what, seven of them? Seven or eight, maybe? Right, I'm going to get Barb out of her pop protector. Didn't know this was coming with a pop protector, so that's very nice. I've not decided if I'm going to be displaying Barb out of box in the cabinet or in box yet because I do think the boxes are pretty cool. They've even got kind of 80s computerized text font kind of thing on uh, the 8 bit logo and the number there. This is number 28. All the ones in this range include 11 with Egos, Mike, Dustin, Lucas, and the Demogorgon. I believe there's a Chase Demogorgon. I know there's a Will 8-bit, but that one isn't on the box for some reason. Yeah, the box is very good condition, I'd say. Tending towards excellent. I'm going to get her out, even though there is a chance that I might want to display Barb back in her box. But I'm going to get her out anyway. Never had an 8-bit pop before, so this is a little bit of pop history for me today. Very heavy. I like this 80s 8-bit aesthetic. I get the feeling they're not going to be releasing any more 8-bit pops, or maybe one very occasionally, if the circumstances allow Funko. 
And I think that's a little bit of a shame because I might be in a minority here, but I like them and I like this. Barb looks great. And for my first Stranger Things pop at seven pound, brilliant. Can't complain about that at all. So here is Barb. Seems a bit weird sort of describing how she looks when she's kind of pixelated, but she's got a trademark spectacles on. She's got kind of light brown, virgin on gingery hair. She's wearing, um, I think that was a pink cardigan, sort of khaki trousers. She's holding, I think that's a book. It's difficult to tell. I think these are great. I'm just wondering how she's gonna look in my cabinets with my normal pops. And plus the box, I do like the box as well. I think the box is nice enough to be displayed, so. And they've given me a pop protector. Any pops that I keep in box, I do like to put in a pop protector and they've given me a free one. Oh, and it's got a $14.95 sticker on it. Great. However, we're not done yet. There is another pop for me to open. This is one, it's been on my wish list for a long time. Finally got it at a good price. And it is... Mr. Monopoly! Yeah! Lovely. Walmart exclusive. Number one in the pop board games range. I would say this is more ad icons. I think it's pretty safe to say I'm going to be keeping this one in box. I will get him out temporarily to have a better look. There again, though, really nice box. So I'll be happy enough to display this. This was £12 on sale from like 19 I think was its original price so all the way down to 12 and then there would have been another 10% off so it was like under 11 pound really 10 pound something massively happy to have got this obviously there's no others in the range I think there is another different Mr Monopoly I can't remember the difference between that one and this one I would just get whichever one came up first at a good price No, it doesn't look like he needs a stand or anything. He's relatively heavy for a pop. Oh, brilliant. I love Monopoly. For years, I was undefeated. Whether that says more about my style of play or the people I was playing against, I don't know. But I was, and maybe still am. I've not played it in a few years. Pretty good at Monopoly. Here is Mr. Monopoly, also known, I believe, as Rich Uncle Pennybags. That's his other name. He's got his top hat on. His trademark handlebar moustache. And he's wearing a really dapper suit. He's got one of these blazers on that come right down to near his feet. There's a name for him, I think, and I can't remember what it is. Red bow tie. White shirt with black button. Are they black buttons? They might be brown buttons, actually. Grey trousers. Black shoes. I like his kind of holding his hand out to ask for some money probably and he's also carrying a walking cane or a stick ace so there we are two pops from the brief three day sale at seven quid a pop really happy about getting both of these a great price like i say all together including postage just over 21 pound i think there was the money off for the sale and then another 10 percent off so Happy to get both of these at a great price. Particularly Barb, actually, because getting her has made me want to get the other Stranger Things 8-bit pops. And then I can collect some Stranger Things pops, because it is one of my favourite shows. But I won't collect all of them, just these sort. And then it's a less intense collection. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Really appreciate it. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to all new subscribers as well who have joined recently. Welcome to the channel and your support is very much appreciated. If you would like discounts on pops from Pop in a Box, Culture Freak and Hull Pops, then please see the link down in the description. Thank you again everybody for watching. Why don't you join me next time for another amazing Funko Pop unboxing video. Cheers, everyone. See ya! Stay tuned for your chance to win five Funko Pops.